Hey, hello, my dear friends. So it took me two hours to mutate my squad. And this is not full, not, this is not final form. We gonna get plus 5% critical rate on Sarah from experiment in apartment. It's quest, uh, quest thing. And I wanted to share with you results of this fucking monstrosity that I made. Uh, but for this we need to invite all teammates. You see, when teammate achieve critical mass of bonuses which means risking another mutation is way too fucking high for anybody when high rollers we take them down to the squad and let me explain what I get and what all of this do so let's start with Bronco so Bronco started with hardened skeleton, armor bonus, bonus quick slot Pale skin, status effect resistance, very powerful, but very underappreciated. Bonus experience, that is you know, irrelevant for him. And nausea, minus action point. It's kind of painful, but not as much. I would love him to get bonus elbow, but it's okay. Amy, get bonus critical, a bonus combat speed, bonus throw range, bonus speed. Bonus armor, bonus quick slot, and here final uh, evasion. <laughs> yeah, Marshall Pawn critical uh, speed and detection time, evasion, <laughs> and throwing range. So, there are similar to Quan, but uh, no throwing range and instead uh, status epic resistance. Okay, let's go to monsters. Here we have almost everything, we just miss chromatic skin and probably one more thing. And here we, here we also everything, but we have chromatic skin. Basically most important shit is something like web toes, it replaces 5 points of speed. I will actually show you. So, when you have speed, as you see, 2 points of speed give combat speed plus 0 0.2 and 3 plus 0 0.3. The web at toes replace 5 points of in speed. Just like this. <laughs> Why bother? Uh, as for bonus experience, it's relevant for Amy and irrelevant for anybody else. I think that's pretty much it. A bonus armor is fine, but it's not game breaking or game changing. Uh, as for bonus throwing range, but your throwing range scale with your strength. I don't know if strength has it described. Throwing range, yes, but uh, so we have bonus plus 110%. And with extra elbow, it's also multiplied by uh, 25. Uh, so instead of 210%, we throw for like 260%. It's extreme throwing range. It's basically like sniper shot of a throwing range with extra scope. Uh, this is very beneficial if you want to have a map control from kilometers or other ship. I'm not sure if you can throw snowball out of combat. Okay, so as you see, this, this is the range. And let me compare to someone who have one strength and probably don't have extra elbow. Oh no, she have extra elbow. But it still be a relevant comparison. So this is her throwing range. It's basically two times smaller. And you know, in, in situations like this giant circle, the bigger range the better. And that's probably it. Most relevant is getting XP bonus of a character that gets XP, bonus speed on characters who need to move, and. Uh, bonus throwing range on people who are strong, like fish lips. Bonus uh, evasion animal reflex is core for everybody. Sadly, my only character who is built for dodges didn't get animal reflexes. 
Bo she has seven fucking bonuses. She only needs chromatic skill, uh, keen and animal reflexes. I don't want it to risk it any further. So that's pretty much it. We are ready to go and have a good day. I don't wanna play anymore for now. I wanna take a break, but I will play soon. <laughs>